In today's world where everyone knows the detrimental effects consuming sugar can have on your body, there is a constant search for ways to keep enjoying the sweetness of sugar without necessarily consuming sugar itself. In come sugar substitutes. They mimic the sweetness of sugar without the corresponding calories, making them an attractive option for weight management and controlling blood sugar levels. However, their impact on the body extends beyond just caloric balance. It also involves potential long-term health implications, which we discuss in this video. Sugar substitutes can be broadly categorized into artificial sweeteners, sugar alcohols, and natural sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners, these include aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, and acesulfame potassium, also known as acesulfame K. They are synthetically produced and can be significantly sweeter than sugar, allowing for use in much smaller quantities. The second category, which is sugar alcohols, includes xylitol, erythritol, and sorbitol. They are naturally occurring in some fruits and vegetables and are often used in sugar-free products. They have fewer calories than sugar, but can still provide some energy. The last category is natural sweeteners, and they include stevia, monk fruit extract, and allulose. They are derived from plants and are often marketed as more helpful alternatives to both sugar and artificial sweeteners. Now, the big question of the day is, which sugar substitute is best for you? As with all things, there are pros and cons to replacing sugar with sugar substitutes. For example, research suggests that there may be a link between artificial sweeteners and increased appetite. This is because there is evidence that suggests that when compared to consuming sugar or water, Regularly consuming the artificial sweetener, aspartame is linked with increased caloric intake, hunger, and sugar cravings. It is also widely assumed that artificial sweeteners can help with weight loss or weight management since they contain no calories. However, there is evidence linking long-term consumption of diet soda to increased body fat in older adults and higher BMI in children. Research also suggests that gut bacteria react differently to artificial sweeteners than they do to real sugar. For example, saccharin and sucralose have been found to change the gut microbiome and have been linked to dysbiosis in humans, which is an imbalance of good and harmful bacteria in the gut and can lead to bloating, thinning of the barrier surrounding the intestines, migraines, autoimmune conditions, mood changes, irritability, and anxiety. In one recent study, it was reported that frequently consuming artificially sweetened beverages in mid and late life was associated with a higher risk of stroke and other heart-related events. There are also studies that link the consumption of artificial sweeteners to the development of metabolic syndrome, which is a term used for several risk factors such as fat around the waistline, high triglyceride levels, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and low HDL cholesterol. These risk factors raise your risk of major health problems, such as heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. With that said, according to current research, these sugar substitutes are a good alternative to sugar for those who want to reduce their sugar consumption. They are monk fruit, stevia, allulose, and erythritol. 